One day, a pilot received some advice from Warren Buffett that would change his life forever. The guy's name was Mike Flint, and for over 10 years, Mike was Warren's private pilot. Typically, becoming a pilot is a dream career. You get to travel the country or the world, depending on which airline you fly for. You don't become a pilot out of convenience or by accident, as it takes years of training and thousands of flight hours to become one. I know this firsthand, as I attended flight school and flew many hours myself when I was younger. Pilots, especially private pilots, should be pleased that they have accomplished their professional goals. One day, Mike was conversing with Warren on the plane about his professional ambitions and what he still wished to accomplish. Then Mike experienced something that most of us can only wish for. He received personal advice from Warren Buffett himself. Buffett requested a list of Flint's top 25 professional goals. The 25 goals merely had to be associated with his entire career, whether that was a pilot or something else. What was it that he wanted to achieve professionally? Then, Warren told Mike that he had to go over his list and mark his top five goals, which he had to circle. Not more than five and not less. So, Mike went and circled his top five. Look closely at the 20 goals you didn't circle, Buffett said. These are the things you must completely avoid at all costs. They are nothing more than distractions. They'll only divert your attention from ultimately reaching your goals by wasting your time and energy. And time is the one thing none of us can get more of. Warren's advice to his pilot is just one tip that can help anybody reach their goals in life too. So, what other gems does Warren have for young people looking for financial success in life? In this video, I'll show Warren Buffett's advice for young people who want to get rich. So, if you're ready, let's get started. But first, welcome to Blue Chip Mindset, the winning mindset for success. Without further ado, let's dive into the video. And if you enjoy it or learn something new, please give it a like. Buffett's first piece of advice is to continually invest in yourself. He encourages young people to constantly improve their skills and knowledge through reading, attending seminars and workshops, and engaging in personal growth activities. By investing in themselves, young people increase their earning potential and set themselves up for financial success later in life. Buffett's second piece of advice is to start early. Buffett started investing at a young age and has seen the benefits of starting early. He has said that if he could go back in time, he would begin investing even earlier. He believes that by starting early, young people can take advantage of the long-term growth potential of the stock market and build wealth over time. One of the benefits of starting early is that young people have time on their side. This allows them to take on more risk and make more aggressive investments, as they have a longer time horizon to weather market ups and downs. Additionally, starting early can also help young people avoid the pressure to save more later in life, when they may have more financial responsibilities and a lower income. The earlier you start saving and investing, the more time your money has to compound and grow. And as Albert Einstein once said, compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. Those who understand it, earn it. Those who don't, pay it. Young people have the advantage of time on their side, and by starting early, they can take full advantage of the power of compounding. Real quick, if you're enjoying the video so far, please do me a huge favor and tap that like button. It really helps get this video out to more people like you. And if you enjoy content like this, then please subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you aboard. Thirdly, Buffett stresses the importance of living below your means. By spending much less than you earn, you can save and invest the difference, building a solid foundation for financial stability and wealth building. Warren famously said, If you buy things you don't need, soon you will have to sell things you need. Fourthly, he also advises young people to avoid debt. One of the reasons Warren is so against debt is that it can prevent people from reaching their financial goals. When you are paying off debt, your money goes towards interest payments rather than building wealth. This can make it challenging to save and invest for the future and limit your flexibility and freedom. 
High interest debt, especially credit card debt, can significantly burden your finances and should be avoided at all costs. He believes it's better to live below your means and save for what you want rather than go into debt to purchase it. Warren has often said, You don't save what is left after spending, but spend what is left after saving. Buffett's fifth piece of advice is to focus on value investing. This means seeking out assets with long-term value, such as stocks and well-established companies and holding on to them for the long run. This approach to investing has proven to be a successful strategy for building wealth over time. And Buffett himself is a prime example of the power of value investing. Buffett once said about investing, Someone is sitting in the shade today because someone planted a tree a long time ago. Buffett's sixth piece of advice is to surround yourself with knowledgeable and successful people. By seeking out mentors and forming relationships with knowledgeable and successful individuals, young people can learn from their experiences and benefit from their tips, advice, and support. As Buffett has said, it's better to hang out with people better than you. Pick out associates whose behavior is better than yours, and you'll drift in that direction. Buffett's seventh piece of advice is to be patient. Building wealth takes time and persistence, and young people must be prepared to stick to their plans and stay focused on their long-term goals, even in the face of short-term setbacks. As Buffett once quipped, If you aren't willing to react with equanimity to a market decline of 50% two or three times a century, you aren't fit to be a common shareholder. Finally, Buffett encourages young people to keep it simple. Don't overcomplicate investments. Stick to a strategy that works for you. Focus on understanding the underlying investment principles and avoid making emotional or impulsive decisions. The key is to have a well-thought-out plan and stick to it over time. In conclusion, Warren Buffett's advice for young people who want to be rich is simple, straightforward, and effective. By investing in themselves, starting early, living below their means, avoiding debt, focusing on value investing, surrounding themselves with successful and knowledgeable people, being patient, and keeping it simple, young people can set themselves up for financial success and build wealth over time. In the words of Buffett himself, the stock market is a device for transferring money from the impatient to the patient. So, young people, be patient. I hope you enjoyed these tips from the master investor himself, Warren Buffett. And if you have any other advice you'd like to share, please drop a comment below. And if you enjoyed the video and want to see more content like this, then please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on all notifications. Thanks for watching.